Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Paul Haught, Vice President for Academics and the Master of Ceremonies for this afternoon's commencement. I am pleased to welcome our graduates, members of their families, and friends to the 2023 Christian Brothers University commencement. At this time, please silence your cell phones and other electronic devices. I would now like to introduce Mr. Joseph Preston, Preston Vice President of Mission Identity, who will give our invocation. Please stand and remain standing uh, through the singing of the national anthem by Miss Kiera Turner, a member of the 2016 graduating class. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and for the wisdom to recognize our gifts and serve you with gratitude. Bless these graduates as they pursue their dreams in unexpected ways. Through your gracious spirit, we ask you, bless them with patience as they explore new horizons. Bless them with humility in the face of success and abundance. Bless them with gratitude for friends, mentors, and family who have supported them through this journey. Bless them with compassion for the poor, the sick, and the suffering. Bless them with generosity in the midst of challenges to come. And bless us all, family, friends, faculty, staff, alumni, and supporters, as we share in the joy of their accomplishments. Amen. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. Please be seated. We at CBU recognize that these students would not have been successful without considerable help along the way. Would the parents, grandparents, children, and other supporters of today's graduates stand and be recognized? Each of you has played a significant role in helping our graduates reach this milestone this afternoon. Congratulations. 
To members of the platform party and other special guests, I am pleased that you are here to celebrate this special occasion. I would like to introduce members of the CBU Board of Trustees in the platform party. Please stand as your name is called and remain standing, and please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Ms. Reagan Cook, Ms. Emily Greer, and Mr. Michael Keeney. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing the members of our Board of Trustees. This great university was founded by members of the Institute of the Brothers of the Christian Schools, the largest Roman Catholic order dedicated to teaching. It is my pleasure to recognize the De La Salle Christian Brothers who are celebrating today's commencement with us. Brothers, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing the brothers who diligently serve our CBU community. Ladies and gentlemen, please now join me in recognizing CBU's newest professors emeriti, Dr. Pascal Bedrosian and Dr. Johnny Holmes. And now we would like to recognize all of our professors emeriti with us. If you are here, professors emeriti, please stand. We now acknowledge our five LaSallean Fellows. The CBU LaSallean Fellowships are presented annually to members of the senior class who have proven to be excellent scholars, maintained a strong commitment to social justice, actively practice their faiths, and who have served as agents of change. Please stand to be recognized. Brenda Lucera Amador. <laughs> Chukwubuka Maurice Ibekwe. Cesar Ivan Sanmaniego Mata. Jennifer Velasquez. And Edgar Alejandro Villarreal. The faculty and staff of Christian Brothers University continue the LaSallean tradition of delivering an outstanding education to our students. Their commitment to teaching excellence and their dedication to each graduate's success is what makes a CBU education so valuable. Will the faculty please stand? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing the faculty of Christian Brothers University. Emily Greer is concluding her third year as vice chair of the CBU Board of Trustees. She has served as a trustee since 2012. Ms. Greer received a Bachelor of Science in Marketing and Management in 1984. In 2021, she was order, awarded an Honorary Doctorate of Public Service, also from CBU. Please welcome Emily Greer, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees. As we conclude this 152nd school year for Christian Brothers University, I am honored to extend a welcome to you on behalf of the Board of Trustees. Graduates, let me congratulate each of you for having persevered and arrived at this milestone of your educational endeavor. The Board of Trustees commends you on a job well done. As you know, there are numerous exciting initiatives here at CBU. As you leave your time here as a student today, I encourage you to continue to be an active member of the CBU community. I look forward to seeing you frequently back on campus. Again, congratulations on your outstanding achievements. It is now my honor to introduce CBU's 24th president, Mr. Dave Archer. After a career in healthcare administration and serving on the CBU Board of Trustees, 
President Archer joined our faculty six years ago. In November of 2021, he was chosen to lead Christian Brothers University. President Archer continues to champion programs to meet the demands of the 21st century economy. He has regularly emphasized the value of a Catholic and LaSallean education throughout the Memphis community. President Archer ensures that CBU's underlying core values, faith, service, and community are at the heart of each initiative and that CBU is positioned to be an educational leader in the LaSallean tradition. Please welcome President Dave Archer. Good afternoon. Graduates, parents, family, friends, let me add my welcome to the 2023 commencement of Christian Brothers University. For each of you, this is a wonderful and memorable occasion and a cause for celebration. So earlier this week, I asked if I could ad lib a little bit, go off script. Um, and, and I was told that I am the president and I can do whatever I want, but we do want to finish in three hours. So, so here goes, so I, I, I want to leave you all with something from Mother Teresa and time me, see how long this takes. People are often unreasonable, illogical, self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and frank, people may cheat you. Be honest and frank anyway. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight. Build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, there may be jealousy. Be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may, may never be enough. Give the world the best you've got anyway. You see, in the final analysis, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. Thank you, and know that wherever you are, whatever you face, Jesus will live in your hearts forever. Thank you. Mr. John Mitchell Graves has devoted his career to providing focused leadership in the industry that maintains and improves the health and well-being of our community. His expertise has resulted in a succession of chief executive roles at local health care service providers, from Methodist LeBonner Healthcare and Health Choice to his current position at West Cancer Center, at all of which his direction has aided and targeted advanced treatment, research, and care for the individual patients, their families, and the larger communities being served. As a lifelong and fourth generation Memphian, Mitch has always been active in his city and has provided his expertise and service to numerous local nonprofit community boards, including that of his alma mater, Christian Brothers University, where he worked to support and advance the LaSallean mission for eight years and served for four of those in the office of chairman of the board. Mitch has been honored by all of his alma maters. He received CBU's Distinguished Alumnus Award in 2012 was named to the Christian Brothers High School Hall of Fame in 2015, and was selected as Outstanding Alumnus of the Year by Grace St. Luke's Episcopal School in 2018. Mr. Graves, to continue those honors and to further recognize your contributions to your community, Christian Brothers University is honored to bestow on you the honorary degree of Doctor of Public Service.
Good afternoon, <coughs> President Archer, Board of Trustees, the Christian Brothers, faculty, my wife, Kelly Jo, who's here, my daughter, Caroline, and <coughs> as of last Saturday, Caroline's fiance, Kayvon Hitamzade, uh, very proud of that. And most importantly today, members of the graduating class of 2023 and your family and friends who are here to support you and celebrate your achievements. It is an honor to accept this degree and to address you. A couple of months ago, specifically March 21st, 1031 a.m., I received a text from President Archer asking if I had time for a call later that day. Being a proud alumnus of Christian Brothers College, I said yes. Now normally when the president of the university calls you and you're my age, he's calling to set up a lunch or a dinner to include the director of development to talk about your planned giving. <laughs> well, I was shocked. President Archer was calling to ask me to give the commencement address at your graduation. I was speechless, honored, proud, and just wondered how far down the list did they have to go to get to my name. I graduated exactly 40 years ago from CBU. And back then it was known as Christian Brothers College. And I can tell you, I sat where you are sitting today and I never in my wildest dreams ever thought I would be on stage giving the commencement address. And like many of you, when I was sitting out there, I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do with my life. Was I going to take a job? Was I going to go to graduate school? Um, and it's OK not to have a fully baked plan. It is amazing, though, how God will help steer you in the right direction if you let him. Now, when I was here, CBU did not have the motto, enter to learn, leave to serve. But the meaning behind those words were practiced every day on campus, faith, service, community. You are receiving a degree from an institution that is committed to academic excellence, the betterment of society, and the care of God's creation. I say all this because not I didn't just walk away from CBU with a degree in business administration. I feel like I learned how I should go about living my life, both professionally and personally. Life constantly presents challenges. It does not come easy. I've made many wrong decisions in my life, personally and business, but I always learn from them. And so that's one of the things I believe you take away today, learn from your mistakes. I chose a career path which has always been mission focused, serving the health needs of our community here in Memphis. For almost half of my life, I worked for Methodist Laboner Healthcare, which I believe God pointed me in the right direction to help them carry out their mission. In 2009, I was diagnosed with lung cancer. Back then, survivorship was single digit. So, to tell you I'm here today, I'm incredibly blessed to be here today, and I believe, thank you. And I call it the three G's that got me here. God, great doctors, good friends, and family. In 2019, I was asked to join West Cancer Center as their chief executive officer. I will tell you that I believe God had a hand in that as well. You know, having been a cancer survivor and selected to lead the top cancer center in the Mid-South, sitting where you are today, I would have never thought that. Over the years, I cannot tell you how many CBU grads I have hired and worked with. And I tell anyone and everyone, CBU produces an excellent product, not just academically, but the person as a whole. Fred Smith, many of you know Fred Smith or know of Fred, the CEO of uh, FedEx. Fred describes CBU, it is the hidden gem of Memphis, Tennessee. 
in my life every day, whether it be with my work family, my wife, my daughter, or friends, there are three things that I want to leave you with that I tried to live my life by. Number one is to remain curious. You know, as kids, we all ask a million questions. But as we age, for some reason, we stop asking questions. And in today's world, it is so easy to draw a line in the sand, swear you are right, and not be open to the other person's opinion. So I challenge you throughout the rest of your life and careers, be a good listener, ask questions to better understand, and as my friend Ann Keeney said earlier today, always assume positive intention. Number one, be curious. Number two, be humble, but always remain hungry. Being humble is an underrated quality and more unseen in today's world, unfortunately. Genuine great leaders are humble. No matter what you achieve in your life, and I am sure you guys are gonna achieve great things, but it's never done by yourself. It's always with the help of other people. I've sat in many meetings with Fortune 500 CEOs, and the great ones always talk about their teams. The second part of that is stay hungry. Picture this, you have achieved your goals, you're comfortable, life is good, and especially in business, someone's always out there wanting to take your place. What if Steve Jobs had stopped 16 years ago? We'd all have little small screens, there wouldn't be any selfie cameras, there wouldn't be any video, and most of us would have lost our phone a thousand times without finding my phone. But that was because he stayed hungry. He knew there were other people out there willing to build cell phones. So remain motivated, enthusiastic, be humble, and remain hungry. Last but not least, number three, whatever you do in your life, make sure it brings you happiness. We are all at our best when we are happy. Happy people are more productive, feel better, they're healthier, and most importantly, other people wanna be around happy people. Life speeds up as you get older, and the old saying, life is too short. Well, life is too short not to do what you enjoy is true. Always choose the path that brings you happiness. God always gives us choices, and I believe those choices you make determine who you are as a person. I'm going to leave you with a, a Cherokee Indian story. It's called The Tale of Two Wolves. One evening, an elderly Cherokee Indian was with his grandson and told him, he said, my son, the battle is between two wolves inside all of us. One is evil, it is anger, envy, jealousy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, lies, false pride, superiority, and ego. The other wolf is good. It is joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. The grandson thought for a minute about that, and then he asked his grandfather, which wolf wins? The old Cherokee simply replied, the one that you feed. Graduates, as you walk out of here today, always remember, feed the good wolf. Congratulations, good luck, and God bless every one of you. Congratulations, Mitch. Every year, a member of the Student Government Association's leadership has the honor of delivering the student address. This year's address is presented by Kirsten Lynette Cox. Ms. Cox graduates today with a degree in management. During her time at CBU, she has served as a president's ambassador, orientation guide for new students, and intern with the Writing and Communications Corner. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your SGA president, Kirsten Cox. Good afternoon. Psalm 16, verse 8. I will always let the Lord guide me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. This comes from the Christian Standard Bible from the YouVersion Bible app. 2019 seems like forever ago, but the year many of us spent our fall, first fall semester on the arch-covered, autumn leaf filled campus of Christian Brothers University. Not knowing that would be the only semester that we would ever spend on our campus in a normal that we had only ever known. I won't explain what happened during that spring semester of 2020 because I have a feeling that most of us here already know. However, I will argue that what transpired that spring semester of 2020 has allowed us, Christian Brothers University class of 2023, to become adaptable, resourceful, strong, unshaken graduates of a university that was built to sustain any storm and trial that is thrown at it. I stand here and look out and see strong, unshaken individuals that for these past four years, I have been proud to call my classmates. Many of us these past four years have not only battled through storms that our society has faced collectively, but have also battled through personal storms and still found the strength to tackle through school and the obligations that got us to where we are seated today. For this, I am proud and honored to be a part of this graduating class. As we sit here today, let us take in and be a part of this celebration. Yes, 2020 provided many of us undergraduate freshmen at the time, a lot of uncertainty regarding our future. However, standing here today, I can say that the uncertainties of 2020 could not have provided me with more certainty this May of 2023. This certainty being that when I let the Lord guide me, he can navigate me to and through the unimaginable. Serving as your Student Government Association president, the remainder of our CBU journey has been an honor and an absolute privilege. Thank you to all of you and congratulations, we did it. Now, at this time, I would like to invite all graduates to repeat after me and stand as we recite the LaSallean Graduate Pledge. Please repeat after me. I pledge to explore and take into account the social justice and environmental consequences of any job I consider and will try to improve these aspects of any organization for which I work. I will further the LaSallean tradition by continuing to learn and by serving others to build better communities and a better society. Thank you and congratulations, we did it. Thank you, Kirsten. 
It is now with great pleasure that I present our graduation candidates. As LaSallean educators, we work to prepare our students for real life with a practical and rigorous education. But a CBU education is more than just what happens in the classroom. We believe in educating the whole person, and these students have embraced all the educational opportunities they've been given every day. These students have walked through doors that remind us all to enter to learn and leave to serve. An overwhelming majority of this graduating class of over 700 participated in service to the CBU community, the Memphis community, and to communities thousands of miles away. We are proud of the people that they have been while in our care, and we send them into the world confident that they will make a difference wherever they serve. I ask that you please hold your applause and refrain from whistling, shouting, or using noisemakers until an entire school has crossed the stage so that all parents, friends, and relatives can hear the names of the candidates for graduation. Graduates are also reminded they are expected to return to their seats after crossing the stage and to remain there for the entire ceremony. President Archer, upon the recommendation of the faculty and the deans, we proudly present the following graduate and undergraduate candidates for graduation. <laughs> the faculty of the Rosa Deal School of Arts is honored to present the following Masters of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, and Master of Science and Educational Leadership candidates for graduation. We begin with the Master of Education. Shanice Marie Case. Yasmin Kellis. Ashley Elizabeth Riggin. And now we begin the Master of Arts in Teaching. Caprice Fatia Anu. Laura Anna Brecher. Trudy Jache Bumpus. Riley Elizabeth Chafin. Megan Marie Klim. Jamal Rashad Collier. Emily Sarah Dobish. Alexandria Renee Donald. Alan Chapman Frazier. Samia Hemphill. Aaron Nicole Hendershot. Isabella Marie Ho. Nia Raven Jackson. Sandra Neja Casborn. Kelsey Grace Matthews. Brinde Miranda McKinney. Nadia Abbas Menard. Brittany Ngozi Achu Obunagafor. Samuel Christian Packard. Decoria Parker. Riley May Powell. James Robert Raven. Chevy Richard Douglas Redmond. Simona May Reed. Hannah Paige Rogers. 
David Arnell Rose II. Marilyn Bain Sample. David Jared Smith. Letiana Kenaya Smith. Madison Alicia Smith. Bryce Jeffrey Snyder. Ricardo Trejo. Christian Danielle Watkins. Brianna Rowena Whitmore. Ashley Ray Williams. Bobby B. Willis. Kaylee Chamberlain Wilman. Marquise Deshaun Wilson. And now we begin the Master of Science in Educational Leadership. Gabrielle Marie Ford. Vanessa Ann Lampkin. Join me in congratulating the graduates from the Rosa Deal School of Arts. Good afternoon. The faculty of the School of Business is honored to present the following Master of Accountancy, Master of Business Administration, and Master of Business in Healthcare Management uh, candidates for graduation. We begin with a Master of Accountancy, Sophie Jew Bax. Garrett Richard Calabria. Elias Haywood. Cabot Young Hale. Tamara Lynette Jones. Molly Kathleen McDonald. Irving Sandoval Gonzalez. Francisco Javier Trujillo Barrientos. Anthony Scott Young, Jr. And now we begin with a Master of Business Administration, Ryan Paul Beckinsale. Mark K. Blakemore. Lisa LaQuinta Brown. Jan Manus be a week. Rachel Elizabeth Clark. Ashley Nicole Cooper. Macy Paige Cummings. Jacob Stafford. Priya Sensai. Alicia K. Embry. Yolanda Marie Gunn. Nuria Lovett. Michael Joseph Longo. Erica Diane Oswald. Connor James Sampson. Brian Torig. Latrice Monique Wood. 
And now we begin with a Master of Business Administration in Healthcare Management. Taman A. Lashore. Bridget Denise Martin. Charo L. Wilson. Outstanding Master of Business Administration graduate. Join me in congratulating the graduates from the School of Business. The faculty of the Gadomsky School of Engineering is honored to present the following Master of Science in Computer Information System and Master of Science in Engineering Management. Candidates for graduation. We begin with a Master of Science in Computer Information System. Barak Sai Kumar Aburi. Abra Khan. Pransantala. Ishwara Prasad Alu. Pramod Kumar Alu. Yawad Firas Almatut. Nitin Rao Amaranai Yani. Rajesh Kumar Anath. Sarisha and Goti. Kalyan Reddy, Armula. Ansar Ahmad Khan. Vachmir Reddy, Badan. Varun Reddy, Bisam. Vanita Belly Bozan. Sri Harsha Boini. Venu Bokisam. Laxmi Joshmita Guragada. Manikata Boya. Truan Buddha. Geja Reddy Chikam. Saichin Shanila. Prakash Singh Chohan. Abinoa Reddy Shaba. Narottam Kumar Chinapuli. Hemant Shapuri. Arshita Cherla. Manisha Chilamula. Bhargav Chintakayala. Abhinay Dun Agari. Janavi Prasad. Bhavya Shri Dodapanini. Roha Rani Donti. Manisha Iduo Pogonti. Soma Epa. Rosie Reddy Godi. Pradeep Reddy Gahala. Saigiva Galubavi. Rashekar Gali. Pranit Reddy Garlapati. Harish Guglat. 
Hari Prasad Gungi. Shravan Kumar Banala. Yonswant Gur Gurishala. Paramish Kotai. Naveen Kumar Gopi. Dirich Redigaram. Kiran Kumar Nduri. Nagandera Reddy Jagat. Banu Teha Nduri. Yaganesh Dadapuram. Srinkath Bhutai. Avanash Daladai. Naresh Dampala. Mani Charan Daloji. Prasanna Daloji. Gerald John Arokia Raj. Priyanka Reddy Kite. Anadan Kalimurthy. Rohit Kumar Mansa. Shrika Kumar Brood Kalam. Nakadar Sai Kanadere. Pranay Raj Kaparti. Malareddy Karam. Nikhil Kumar Kamrasetti. Jayant Kari. Vanila Maduri Kari. Lakshma Ragva Royal Paramuchi. Dinesh Reddy Kamarui. Sarisha Reddy Katika Reddy. Sai Jerong Jaudhari Kata. Deepak Kumar Kasuri. Sandeep Kumar Ketbak. Shaita Sri Kalari. Aravind Kodaru. Dikshit Kodam. Vinkatesh Kodi Jintala. Varun Kumar Kotitala. Shri Kant Radikolam. Sharan Teha Kotakanda. Lavan Kumar Reddy Kotapali. Udi Krishna Kaburi. Praween Kumar. Venka Sai Raku Nai Markpakam. Pravin Kumar. Nikhil Kondapali. Jai Krishna Kunchala. Mahesh Kumar Kuruganti. Himalata Lanka. Esmeralda Mutali Leon Larue. Akhil Linga Reddy. Akash Sestri Madhu. Vinay Kumar Madhu. Manoj Maduri. Rama.
Krishna Malampati. Monbir Raman Khan Mohammed. Deepika Malyala. Sirajel Fayez Mohammed. Hamid Shoaib Mohammed. Mazar Ali Mohammed. Talha Hussein Mohammed. Yaqub Mohammed. Mohammed Abdul Latif. Mohammed Behan Qureshi. Syed Sousi Akram. Ramya Sri Ulaka. Srivast Deepak Moludu. Shri Koshik Medimuba. Varun Kumar Naninoma. Ravi Teja Naladi. Chandra Shekhar Reddy Nala. Maunika Na Lamotu. Jed Pakarash Reddy Nandakonda. Ankita Naresh. Outstanding MSCIS graduate. Prabhu Kiran Namburu. Siva Kumar Nabamani. Nazma Kultuna. Chandra Shekharadi Nimma. Bamshi Krishna Noon. Samoon Rao Pati Dela. Shashank Pala Kripi. Kumar Shaitanya Panda. Venkata Ashwit Nadu Kosola. Sahaj Babu Puram. Subashini Puru Chataman. Pavan Kalyan Reddy Putapali. Vashmi Kalyan Reddy Putapali. Ramesh Kumar Rajan. Stanley Raj Rajan. Lakshmi Vara Sabaranim Ramasetti. Sitaram Ramasetti. Manush Kumar Ravipati. Rohit Reddy. Rohan Reddy Mala. Benita Shirley Rosario. Seth Mohammed Khan. Yaramasetti Sai Kumar. Kishore Sala. Mujiba Raman Sheikh. Nasima Sheikh. Mobin Basha Sheikh. Shivam Sharma. Sana Shiku. Karen Beer Sain. Sudhir Kumar Yashala. Bamshi Krishna Siddhamsetti. Rohit Kumar Surashetti. Anaya Prasad Virakupala. Sai 
Nadita Trivedula. Vijay Kumar Bopala. Mahesh Sariji. Ruhaba Hussein Syed. Wajid Syed. Naveen Kumar Sivakati. Alkandra Sirakonda. Nakia M. Small. Rita Magued Sodni. Bamsi Shri Majum. Sir Shasha Sunkari. Rijwan Syed. Sana Husseini Syed. Bharat Kumar Tulogi. Rahul Reddy Kumar. Kwazi Mohammed Azar Udin. Balu Uma Pati. Yogeswa Balakamanda. Anil Basanta. Rohini Reddy Viram. Chandan Reddy Bulupala. Shekni Ekumar Yonreddy. Binkot Lakshma Reddy Yina. Sai Krishna Reddy Yedwa. Kaja Nazimuddin. Ismail bin Ibrahim. And now we begin the Master of Science in Engineering Management, Muhammad Abdul Manan. Priya Vinkatesi. Rosie L. Britton. Asmita Dungana. Mala Reddy Durgampudi. Seri Simon Hamra. Georgina Susie Feathers. Mohammed Mustansur Ali Qureshi. Miley Esther Kiros Davis. Shivam Raj. Dhananjayan Ramanan. Michael Leroy Reed, Jr. Inderpal Singh. Kartik Sogata Lingam. Syed Haja Semi Odi. Vinkateja Vishwanathan. Mohammed Khwaja Imranjani. Akil Khanis. Krishna Sai Likit Minakuri. Musadiq Shah Syed. 
Ajer Ali Mohammed. Mohammed Nazim Odin. Sa'ah Mohammed Sabir Ali. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Gdansky School of Engineering. The faculty of the School of Sciences is honored to present the following Masters of Physician Assistant Studies and Masters of Science and Data Science candidates for graduation. And now we begin the Master of Physician Assistant Studies, James Michael Archer, Keegan Julia Bellick. Courtney Elizabeth Borgannoni. Jennifer Zhao Chu. Isabella Ann Colarusso, Outstanding Physician Assistant Studies graduate. Olivia Francis Coleman. Kirsten Lane Cooney. Tyler A. Cunningham. Nan Din. Q. T. Ewan. Jordan Askew Ellis. Catherine Ann Schultenberg. Caroline E. Finky. Eliana Garcete Bazan. Travis M. Gist. Rebecca Ann Halbert. Alexa Ray Hill. Victoria Haynes Holt. Kimberly Rahil Casal. Hannah Cozina. Chris Eaton Marcellus. Alexis Marie Martinez. Meredith Ann McCree. Emily Amanda Elaine Migliarini. Emily Alyssa Miller. Sarah Marie Mundo. Himali Parmar. Hina K. Patel. Sarah Michelle Pinkerton. Emma Armand Ronzeval. Nicholas Jordan Taylor. Trevor Terrell Van Vliet. Haley Williamson. And now we begin the Master of Science in Data Science. George A. Georgievich. Sean C. Mosley. Join me in congratulating these graduates from the School of Sciences.
The faculty of the Rosa Deal School of Arts is honored to present the following candidates for graduation. And now we begin the Bachelor of Arts. Sara Abdullah, summa cum laude, Marius Carrier Outstanding History Graduate Award. Safa Saeed El Tariq, cum laude. Kara Lorena Alexander, summa cum laude. Brenda Lucera Amador, Liberal Studies Education, Lasallian Fellow. Rachel Lee Bennett, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude, Psy Chi Outstanding Leadership Award. Marcelo Manuel Carius Navarro, Psychology. Amelia Castrojon Alonzo, Psychology, Cum Laude. Mitchell Warfield Copeland, Psychology. David Joseph Cotton, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Olivia Marie Dees, Liberal Studies, CBU Community Captain. Leslie Del Rocio, Don Juan Flores, Summa Cum Laude. Garrett Allen Dooley, English Education, Kenneth W. Mathis Award for Outstanding Education Graduate. Jacqueline Ariana Fernandez, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Gracie Elaine Fogarty, Psychology, Cum Laude, Honors Diploma Recipient. Jessica Danielle Foster, Early Childhood. Adina Daleen Garay, Early Childhood, Summa Cum Laude. Asia Denise Gibson, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude, Psy Chi Outstanding Leadership Award. Caroline Lee Gross, Applied Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Nancy Beatriz Guadique Reyes, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude, Kristen Ladd Franklin Award for Outstanding Non-Traditional Psychology Major. Kendall Dawn Harris, Special Education, Summa Cum Laude. Jaden Angelina Hart, Psychology Cum Laude. Benjamin Russell Holtz, Liberal Studies Cum Laude. Danielle Nicole James, Applied Psychology Magna Cum Laude. Kamia Lakaja Jenkins, Psychology Summa Cum Laude. Allison Michelle Jones, English for Corporate Communication, Summa Cum Laude, Literature and Languages Faculty Award for English for Corporate Communication. Sandra Maldonado Ortiz, Psychology. Marisol Mireles Medina, Psychology Cum Laude. Virginia Abigail Nelson, Liberal Studies Education, Education Magna Cum Laude. Isabel Ramirez Zarzaza, Applied Psychology. Maria Jose Rivera Resendez, Psychology Cum Laude. Perla Jasmine Ramirez, Psychology. Cindy Paola Rueda Rodriguez, Liberal Studies Education Cum Laude. Abby Jean Sedlak. History, Magna Cum Laude, Outstanding Phi Alpha Theta Student Award. Cheyenne Lacosta Smith, Psychology. Madison Jane Spiva, English for Corporate Communications, Magna Cum Laude. Laura Serafina Steersman, Creative Writing, Cum Laude, Literature and Languages Faculty Award for Creative Writing. Caleb Benjamin Cammy. Liberal Studies. Tina Laura Torres, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Jennifer Velasquez, English for Corporate Communication, Summa Cum Laude, Honors Diploma Recipient, Lasallian Fellow. Edgar Alejandro 
Villarreal. Summa cum laude, Margaret J. Sather Outstanding School of Arts Graduate Award and Behavioral Sciences Faculty Award and Lasallian Fellow. Kelsey Snow Worm, Psychology. Rebecca Diane Young, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Chelsea Ariana Hanameno, Creative Writing in English, Summa Cum Laude, Literature and Languages Faculty Award for English. And now we begin the Bachelor of Fine Arts. Nahir Sol Cavallari, Visual Arts, Summa Cum Laude, Margaret J. Sather, Outstanding School of Arts Graduate Award. Hannah Nicole Sertian, Visual Arts. Tori Sheehan Fox, Visual Arts. Joy Green, Visual Arts, Cum Laude. Eva Hampartung Hanissian, Visual Arts, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Summa Cum Laude. Gonzalo J. Naranjo, Jr., Visual Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Erica Nichelle Presley, Visual Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Garrett Dwayne Rayford, Jr., Jr. Visual Arts, Cum Laude. Sydney Lynn Ritter, Visual Arts, Cum Laude. Myrna Alexandra Trevino, Visual Arts, Cum Laude, Outstanding Visual Arts Award student. Ashley Lauren Webster, Visual Arts, Cum Laude. Join me in congratulating the graduates from the Rosa Deal School of Arts. The faculty of the School of Business is honored to present the following candidates for graduation. We begin with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Fatima Amoro Soto, cum laude. Carolyn Benavidez, cum laude. Lauren Benavidez, summa cum laude, Memphis Chapter, Tennessee Society of Certified Public Accountants Award. Benjamin C. Brocato, Magna Cum Laude, Moroni Whaley Award. Kelton Castillo. Wayne Davis, Magna Cum Laude. Colin Xavier Duncan. Avery A. Ellis, Magna Cum Laude. Daniela Garcia. And Stephanie Delay Gonzalez. And now we begin with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Asia Anderson, Interdisciplinary Studies. Felipe Arteaga, Sports Management, Marketing, Magna Cum Laude. Caroline Ann Close, International Business, Summa Cum Laude. Blake Allen Dawson, International Business, Cum Laude, Veteran. Justin Daniel Donovan, Management, Cum Laude. Anna Helena Ehala, Marketing, Magna Cum Laude. Evelyn Fernando Lesima, Marketing. Jarrett Peyton Folk, Sports Management. Daniela Gonzalez, Marketing, Magna Cum Laude. Kazuhata, Management. Travis Hurtaloo, Management Information Systems. 
Philip Devon Holmes, Management Information Systems. Jorge Iniguez, International Business, summa cum laude. Nicholas Jordan Jefferson, International Business. Emil Johnson, Management Information Systems. Julia Diane Kinawati, International Business, Magna Cum Laude, Honors Diploma. Kevin Lamb, Marketing. Lavolger Nakai, London, Marketing, Cum Laude, CBU Community Captain. Sam S. Mackey, Management, Cum Laude. Yoselin Marone Renato, Management. Daniel Philip Maybe, Sports Management, Summa Cum Laude. Elena Louise McKenney, Management, Summa Cum Laude. Alejandro Medina Jaime, Management Information System, Summa Cum Laude, Delta Sigma Pi Scholarship Team. Brian Mojica Roman, Management Information System, Summa Cum Laude. Jessica Evelyn Moore, Marketing Cum Laude. Bernice Elani Portal, Banking Cum Laude. Camila Carola Rodriguez Rojas, International Business Summa Cum Laude. Denise Rodriguez Rangel, Marketing Summa Cum Laude. Calvin Lamont Sanford, Marketing Cum Laude. Colin James Shank, Management Information Systems, Magna Cum Laude. Evan James Turup, International Business, Summa Cum Laude, School of Business Faculty Achievement Award. Cristobal Villalobos Alcaraz, Marketing Summa Cum Laude. Hannah Rose Ward, Sport Management Summa Cum Laude. Vinod we are seeing management. Jamarian E. White, finance. And now we begin with a Bachelor of Science in Finance. Gabriella Marine Moreno, summa cum laude. And now we begin with a Bachelor of Science in Management. Kirsten Lynette Cox, cum laude, James O. Parker Service Award. Natalie Focasangre Aguirre, cum laude. Gustavo Andres Reyes, summa cum laude. Reed L. Voss, summa cum laude. And now we begin with a Bachelor of Science in Marketing. Yateria Nicole Coleman, Magna Cum Laude. Jose Villasis, Magna Cum Laude. Join me in congratulating the graduates from the School of Business. The faculty of the School of Kadomsky School of Engineering is honored to present the following candidates for graduation. And now we begin the Bachelor of Science. Mauricio Banuelos, Electrical Engineering, Cum Laude, Brother Philip Morgan, Electrical Engineering Design Award. Juan Carlos Ferrientos. Electrical Engineering. Martin Benitez, Civil Engineering, Magna Cum Laude, Thomas G. Morrison Award. Brianna LaShawn Chancellor, Mechanical Engineering. Will Jamison Clayton, Mechanical Engineering, Summa Cum Laude, Herbert Darnell Award and Outstanding School of Engineer Graduate Award. Travis Clifford Cole, Civil Engineering. 
Stephen Anthony Delbo. Mechanical Engineering, Cum Laude. Matthew Aaron Deutsch, Mechanical Engineering, Magna Cum Laude. Peter James Fergal, Mechanical Engineering, Cum Laude. Victor Manuel Garcia Bravo, Civil Engineering, Summa Cum Laude. Juan Fernando Godoy, Mechanical Engineering. Curtis Goyer III, Chemical Engineering. Brooke Gabrielle Hall, Chemical Engineering, Cum Laude, Philip M. Becker Award in Chemical Engineering. Victoria Faith Park, Mechanical Engineering, Magna Cum Laude. Michelle Hernandez Fierda, Mechanical Engineering. Zachary Andrew Hood, Mechanical Engineering. David Wong, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude, Brother Philip Morgan Electrical Engineering Design Award. Shukwe Buka, Morris Ibekwe, Electrical Engineering, Thomas Lipsmeyer Award, Lasallian Fellow Award, Career Services Rising Star Award. Owen Scott Jansen, Mechanical Engineering, Summa Cum Laude. Alvaro Martinez Gija, Chemical Engineering, Cum Laude. Everardo Mendoza, Electrical Engineering, Cum Laude. Lizbeth Morales, Mechanical Engineering, Cum Laude. Jose F. Morena Ortega, Engineering Management, Magna Cum Laude. Christina Tran Wink, Magna Cum Laude, Honors Diploma Recipient. Christopher Michael Payne, Mechanical Engineering. Gabriel Reyes Maldonado, Electrical Engineering, Cum Laude. Marquisha Shante Sanders, Mechanical Engineering, Veteran. Jonathan Alonzo Thorne, Civil Engineering. Jordi M. Villafranca Miranda, Engineering Management, Cum Laude. Katerina Danielle Webb, Civil Engineering, Cum Laude. Jalen Maurice Webb, Mechanical Engineering. Sydney Allison Wilson, Mechanical Engineering. Jonathan Yu, Mechanical Engineering. Celine Italy Zarate, Mechanical Engineering, Cum Laude. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Gdomsky School of Engineering. The faculty of the School of Sciences is honored to present the following candidates for graduation. We begin with the Bachelor of Science. Samantha Elizabeth Anderson, Computer Science, Mathematics, Cum Laude. Chisholm Francis Azzoghini, Biology. Faith Haley Bachelor, Health Science. Aureli Juliana Bias Jimenez, Biology Cum Laude. Patrick Chandler Beckton, Biology. Dalton Volgio, Chemistry. Philip Charles Brown II, Biomedical Science Cum Laude. Karina Colantino Buenaventura, Natural Science. Clarissa Bustamante Lopez, Biology. Luis Cancino, Computer Science, Mathematics. Brandon Chin, Computer Science. 
Eli Coronado Biology, magna cum laude. Savannah Catherine Crockett, Biomedical Science. Bako Darwesh, Natural Science. Jayla Nicole Doffrey, Natural Science Cum Laude. Darcy Gray Doran, Biochemistry, Summa Cum Laude Outstanding Chemistry Graduate Award. Jalen Lane Falk, Biology Cum Laude Honors Diploma. Molly Elizabeth Gallagher, Biology. Yadira Garcia, Natural Science Cum Laude. Heidi Gossus, Computer Science, Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude, Mathematical Sciences Faculty Award. Diego Alejandro Gomez Perez, Ecology Cum Laude. Edgar Granados Perez, Computer Science. Amy Selena Guerrero, Biomedical Science. Kimberly Ann Hammond, Biology, Cum Laude, Biology Faculty Award. Marissa Hope Harrison, Biology. Molly Margaret Hatch, Natural Science. Ashton Donovan Hayes, Natural Science. Jasmine Areli Hernandez, Ecology. Andrea Yacolin Huerta, Biomedical Science. Faith Mandili Linnell Ivy, Mathematics Cum Laude. Janae Dinon Jones, Health Science. Ethan Gaming Lamb, Computer Science Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude, Brother Dominic Dunn Award. Joy Elizabeth Lawson, Biomedical Science. Sean Michael Lindo, Cybersecurity. Jake David Lotrianti, Cybersecurity. Lauren Kristen Malone, Biology, Cum Laude. Alexandria Latrice Martin, Biology. Kristen Joy Mason, Natural Science. Elena Grace McGill, Natural Science, Summa Cum Laude. Luis Fernando Nicolta, Biology. Anne Wing, Computer Science, Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude, Brother Joel Valmeyer Award. Sylvia Reed, Natural Science. Kong Napasis, Computer Science. Kwame Oduro Kusi, Natural Science. Mariana Rafael San Juan, Biology. Jesus Alberto Rivas Hernandez, Biology. Odette Leah Rivera, Biology. Carlos Sabdil Rodriguez, Computer Science. Safa Amina Rodrigli, Natural Science. Josh Ryan Babanto Sabio, Mathematics. Abdallah Sala, Natural Science, CBU Community Captain, LaSallian Fellow. Cesar Samaniago Mata, CBU Community Captain, LaSallian Fellow, Natural Science. Samantha Guadalupe Sosa, Mathematics. Carson McKenzie Springfield, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Madison Zanola Stevens, Biology. Faith Kezia Viparsi, Natural Science. Justin G.H. Walker, Natural Science, Cum Laude. Memory Nicole Willingham, Natural Science, Summa Cum Laude. Pierce Andrew Wersig, Biology. Keaton Edward Wood, Computer Science, Cum Laude. 
And now we begin with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Georgiana Angela Andrews, summa cum laude. <laughs> Tiffany Marie Austin, magna cum laude. Lauren Alexis Ballard. Salma Michelle Bonilla. Ashton Elizabeth Bosher, summa cum laude. Nahaja Collin. Pamela Delgado, magna cum laude. Helen Tuitin, cum laude. Tierney Dominique Dowell. Karen Joanna Duran Valdez. Riley Drew Irvin. Francisco Flores Hernandez, magna cum laude. Diana Jennifer Flores Cifuentes. Alexandria Nicole Gibson. Gustavo A. Gomez. Melat Tenaye Ali. Lydia Claire Harris. Andrea Hernandez Garcia. Audrey Felicia Holmes. Rebecca Hope King. Miriam Laguil. Courtney Janeri Daylin Lashur, cum laude. Tamia Michelle Martin. Kiara Pache Nash, summa cum laude. Adrian Noel. Pabalate, magna cum laude. Emily Grace Patton, cum laude. Elizabeth Grace Perkins. Jordan Plummer. Arielle Simone Ramsey. Joanna Rohel Molina, cum laude. Latarsha Renee Sanford, summa cum laude, outstanding nursing graduate. Marquisha Lachey Streckel. Chloe Lynn Waddell, magna cum laude. Kayla C. Washington. Antoinette S. Wilson. Keenan Aston Wilson, cum laude. Danielle Trache Ran, veteran. Join me in congratulating the graduates from the School of Sciences. The faculty of the Global College is honored to present the following candidates for graduation. And now we begin the Bachelor of Arts in Professional Psychology. <laughs> Katrina Y. Palmer, Professional Psychology, summa cum laude. Devin Trumaine Thompson, Professional Psychology. And now we begin the Associate of Arts in Professional Psychology. Christy Michelle Three. And now we begin the Bachelor of Science in Business Studies. 
Kiffany Cherie Brown, Business Studies Management, Summa Cum Laude. Kimberly Denise Hackworth, Business Studies Management, Magna Cum Laude. Kimberly C. Keeler, Business Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Beatrice J. Nichols, Business Studies Management, Summa Cum Laude. Sharbert A. Ray, Business Studies Management, Summa Cum Laude. Loretta Parker Richmond, Business Studies Management Information Systems, Summa Cum Laude. Quentin Christopher Taylor, Business Studies Marketing. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Global College. Will all of our associates, bachelors, and master's candidates please rise? That's you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, of the 2023 graduating class, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Christian Brothers University, I hereby confer upon those whose names have been presented the associate's, bachelor's, or master's degree for which they have been nominated, and I fur further declare them family of CBU forever. Undergraduate students, you may change your tassel from right to left. You may be seated. You may sit down. We have a few more steps. Imagine if I hadn't asked you to not make noise. Each year, a CBU alumnus is invited to reflect on their experience at CBU and offer words of encouragement for our newest alumni. Mr. Eric Brown, a 1997 graduate, currently serves as Vice President and General Manager of the Valero Memphis Refinery. Prior to attending CBU, he joined the United States Army and served for five years with stops in Germany and Kansas. A board member of Alpha Omega Veteran Services, Mr. Brown also served in Operation Desert Storm. Married for over 30 years, he and his wife have two sons. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Eric Brown. All right, as I look out on the crowd, I'm sure all of you are sitting there saying, one more speech. I'll do my best to uh, keep you awake for a little while longer. So first I wanna say, it's a privilege to stand here and address the graduating class. Say thank you to Dr. Archer and the Board of Trustees for the honor to speak with you today 
and thank Chastity for ensuring all the details for my visit were in order. To the faculty and staff, your hard work in preparing the class of 2023 to walk across this stage is greatly appreciated. Parents, family, and friends here to honor the graduating class, thank you for supporting them through this journey. All of my military service was before I started here at CBU. I was not a traditional student. I knew my time at CBU would be different than my classmates. I'd seen and experienced a lot more. My military service and being married five years when I started at CBU. However, I will say I felt very welcomed when I came to CBU. I knew that I could make friends and made friends with all the chemical engineering students and joined AICHE where I took my first trip to New Orleans. And who would know that New Orleans would be the place that my wife and I would raise our two children? I met another veteran on campus like myself, and we learned that there was a Nesby chapter that had ceased to, to that had stopped producing here on campus. One of my greatest memories was us restarting that organization and getting the National Society of Black Engineers operating again at Christian Brothers University. I was not a poor college student in the tradition of most college students. I had money, I had a car, I had my own place. It just happened to be in Jackson, Tennessee, where I was born and raised, there with my wife. I still found time to hang out on campus, play basketball with my friends, and was introduced to the game of golf, which I still play today, mostly because that's the only thing I can play today at my age. Dr. Luxrell, Dr. Ray, and Dr. Theus were my professors, all of whom have retired now. All the chemical engineering students studied together. It took us four weeks to understand our favorite professor, Dr. Ray. He took the term liquid-liquid equilibrium and melted it into one word, and it took us about four weeks to understand what that meant. Most of you are still wondering, what is liquid-liquid equilibrium? Four of the seven graduating chemical engineering students started at the Memphis refinery together in 1997. We're still friends today and recently participated in American Heart Association walk together. You will all have lifelong friends that you will make and maintain throughout your lifetime from CBU. Preparation and perseverance will take you far. Perseverance brought you to the CBU graduation today. Perseverance helped, you earn a helped me earn a degree in chemical engineering from this great institution. Never underestimate the power of preparation to stimulate change or create opportunities. Preparation brings confidence, organization, decisiveness, and credibility. When these characteristics are prevalent, people take notice. If you want new opportunities or desire to change your situation, be prepared and set a plan as your foundation. We cannot control all the opportunities and changes that will occur in our life. We all know that's not possible. If you could control everything in your life, Many of the students out there would have changed some of their CBU professors. Or you would have taken the opportunity to kill Life360 from your parents' phones so they couldn't track you through college. However, you are far from powerless in shaping your future. Do you understand the magnitude of the accomplishment you made here today? You have proven you have the capacity to absorb information process it, and transform it into a product or skill. I became an engineer. Let me enlighten you on what that means. I am an engineer. That means I am always right. If you don't believe me, 
Ask any engineer that's sitting near you how often they're wrong. If that's not enough, you can ask my wife who's sitting there how often I think I'm right. Preparation and perseverance help me excel in the refining industry. It will take perseverance to keep you moving forward. Perseverance, determination, grit, persistence, and willpower. Your career will not always take the path you laid out. Advancements will not align with your schedule. Opportunities and change will place you in situations and jobs you could not see. Always have a primary and a secondary plan. And remember, you can influence your opportunities. I could give you lots of stories about change, opportunity, perseverance, and preparation from my career. Instead, I'll leave you with some advice to take with you. Embrace change instead of fighting it. Prepare yourself for change and figure out how to make it work for you. Read the book, Who Moved My Cheese? Opportunities will come, but if they don't, or if the ones you want don't come, figure out a way to create them. Preparation is the key to shaping your career. Preparation will enhance many of the skills needed to succeed. You feel better, you execute better, and you present better when you are prepared. Be persistent in creating the opportunities you want, and don't be discouraged in your timeline if your timeline isn't always met. Save for the future so retirement is a celebration. But remember, life is short. Enjoy yourself along the way. Keep your faith. I know it will keep you strong. You are never on this journey alone. God, family, and friends are there to support you. Life was never designed to be a solo act. If you're not sure about the advice that you received today, I'd say you truly were not listening. It is good advice. It will help you through some tough times. You will be successful applying this speech to your journey. I know this because I am an engineer, and I am always right. God bless you and keep you all, and congratulations to the Christian Brothers University Class of 2023. At this time, I invite the medical director of the Physician Assistant Studies Program, Dr. Sharice Tooley, to come forward to administer the Hippocratic Oath. And yes, we're not done yet. Please stay seated. Physician assistants, at this time, Please turn to page 39 in your program and stand for the administration of the Hippocratic Oath. Saying with me, I swear to fulfill to the best of my ability and judgment this covenant. I will respect the hard worn scientific gains of those physicians in whose steps I walk and gladly share such knowledge as is mine with those who are to follow. I will apply for the benefit of the sick all measures which are required, avoiding those twin traps of overtreatment and therapeutic nihilism. I will remember that there is art to medicine as well as science and that warmth sympathy and understanding may outweigh the surgeon's knife or the chemist's drug. I will not be ashamed to say I know not, nor will I fail to call in my colleagues when the skills of another are needed for a patient's recovery. I will respect the privacy of my patients, for their problems are not disclosed to me that the world may know. Most especially must I tread with care in matters of life and death. If it is given to me to save a life, all thanks.
but it may also be within my power to take a life. This awesome responsibility must be faced with great humbleness and awareness of my own frailty. I will remember that I do not treat a fever chart, a cancerous growth, but a sick human being whose illness may affect the person's family and economic stability. My responsibility includes these related problems, and if I am to care adequately for the sick, I will prevent disease whenever I can, for prevention is preferable to cure. I will remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings, those of sound mind and body as well as the infirm. If I do not violate this oath, may I enjoy life and art, respected while I live, and remembered with affection after, thereafter. May I always act so as to preserve the finest traditions of my calling, and may I long experience the joy of healing those who seek my help. Thank you. You may now be seated. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Tully. Would everyone please stand for the benediction given by Reverend Bruce Cinquegrani member of the CBU faculty and pastor of St. Anne's Parish on Highland. Let us pray. Wondrous God, we praise you, the source of all we have and are. You have gathered us today to mark in solemn observance the passage of these graduates and the conferring of their academic degrees. We know it is your abiding care that provided the ground on which they stood, the pathway that brought them to this moment. Teach us to acknowledge always these good things your infinite love has given us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. On behalf of Christian Brothers University, thank you for attending our 2023 commencement Regalia Return for Graduates is in the graduate gathering room in the multi-purpose rooms on the main level. Congratulations, 2023 graduates. St. John Baptist de La Salle. Praise Live Jesus in our hearts. 